Yo, you know the motherfucking vibes is DP215. I'm back with another one. Let you know where I'm coming from. All I do is expose the truth and let it go to the youth. Mikey T, the movie star, got yoked up by none other than Leaky Moss. You let a guy named Leaky Moss yoke you up on Airy Avenue, brother? His name Leaky Moss, bro. Not to discredit him and say he a nut, but damn, like, the reason why I know you don't have any hood experience is because when you see a nigga walking towards you like that, you should already know to throw your fucking hands up. You still on the phone. You got the phone in your hand. Like, you didn't see none of their face expressions? You must have not never been in no fight before. Because the nigga was walking at him so... With, with, oh my God, with so much aggression. His look, like, he, he looked like he saw an op. It was like, he it's on. But I think he got a certain amount of respect and love for you. Like, whereas though he don't want to hurt you, he just want to yoke you up. And show you not to play with him like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, he don't got no point to prove. He just wanted to G-check you physically. That was what you call, take your little brother in the backyard. That was that type of treatment. Because if he wanted to fuck you up, as in punch you and stomp on you, you would have got that. He grabbed you because he didn't really want to hurt you. And that's why he stopped. He stopped. If it's really up, a nigga gonna beat your ass to you leaking out your head, teeth, all that. You just was leaking out your nose. You know what I mean? So it's like, man, it's, it's crazy. Like, it's just real crazy, bro. I, I, I can't figure out why you would go down there and not at least pay attention to your surroundings. Like, if you have any type of instincts, your spider senses would have been up to like, yo, it could go down. So let me, you know, let me let me get on guard. Or let me bring some more people with me. Something. Let me have something on me. Something. Because obviously you wasn't ready. You thought it was all good. You, you forgot what you said to that man online. You know what I mean? I know y'all had many conversations, maybe like some interviews, and maybe he just ain't like the way he was talking to him, and he wanted to do you, he, he wanted to, he wanted to yoke you up. He didn't want to fuck you up, he wanted to yoke you up, because I think he punched you maybe twice, maybe twice or maybe three, but he had you in the, he had you in the chokehold the majority of the time, and he just was dragging you. So that says a lot about how he felt about you. Cause you do support his brother so it's not like he hates your guts but he just don't like what you were saying to him he was doing a lot of instigating i mean so all i'm saying to you is brother well you're not a brother but you can't come back to no hood because it might not be done there until you figure out how the hood really moves Anybody walking towards you with that speed, with that expression, you know it's about to go down. You know it. I, I look right at him like, oh shit. And yup, he swung. Shit look like the phone fell out your hand. King Erna picked it up. Like, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy. Them niggas was ready for you. Them niggas was ready for you, man. But... That's here and no there. Signing off. DP2 on motherfucking fire, baby.